Hey class, so um, before we get started drawing our mesh and retopologizing on top of our base mesh that we imported from ZBrush in the last video, um, I want to just show you the basics of quad draw. So quad draw is something that we have not used yet. Um, it is a tool in your modeling toolkit over here, all the way down. And what it does is enable me to draw polygons straight onto a surface. So like our mesh. Um, first, I'm just gonna select my polysphere here for demo. I'm going to use this magnet icon right here and turn this into a live surface. It tells me right next to this that the polysphere is um, the live surface. And next to this is symmetry. And now I can select object X or world X. Either way, um, since we've been working in symmetry in ZBrush, you, we always wanna work in symmetry in Maya for this particular option. Okay, so when we start off with quad draw and we have our symmetry in our live surface, um, the first thing you can do is just left click to draw dots. Uh oh. So you can see my first two dots must have been on the world symmetry line. So I'm going to undo that. And let's draw. There we go. Here's two dots. And two, three, four. So I have four dots on either side. Let's turn on wireframe on shaded. There we go. Remember that you have to press Alt to be able to click around in Maya. Um, so I have four dots on either side. Now if I press Shift and hover over the center of these dots, I can preview my polygon for my first face. So I'm gonna click with Shift, hold it down, click, and, um, oops, sorry. And that creates my first face. So I can also add additional faces just by clicking and any two additional dots plus an edge, hover over and press shift, I get another face. So I can, can continue doing this, adding two more dots, pressing shift, two more dots, shift. And I can do this all the way around my uh, sphere. Shift, two more dots. Shift, shift, shift. Okay, when we get too close to our symmetry line, um, it's easiest to grab onto this edge and just gently pull it and it will snap together. Um, it doesn't look like it's doing a great job right now. So hold on one second. I'm gonna add two more dots. There we go. And bring these edges together. So I've almost created one loop. I need to do the same thing over here. So grab these edges and just gently snap them together. And it will snap. Now this is a pretty hideous looking loop here. It's all messed up. And clearly I'm tired from the long day. Um, but what is nice is I can also hold down shift and you can see that my cursor has turned to say relax. Now if I just click and drag over these polygons, what it does is average out kind of the spacing of these polygons and relax, relaxes them. So I'm getting better topology by doing this. So that is shift, left click, and dragging over my model. So the next thing we can do is tab and left click. And this extrudes out. So I can extrude tab and left click and drag top and bottom. And you'll see because I have this live surface turned on and my symmetry turned on, um, these points or these edges are 
forming on my um, existing sphere. So that is tab and um, left clicking and dragging. Um, next is tab and tab and middle mouse button. Let's see if that will work. I think I need an entire edge loop. Oops, sorry. Tab, middle mouse button, and this extrudes an entire edge loop. It's a little wonky in places, so that's where I would go back with my shift and click. There you go. I can also always click and drag to adjust these manually as well. So you, you're never quite done. You can always um, make adjustments and make these make a little more sense for your model. Okay, middle mouse button, click and drag moves edges around. So you can move them out or in. You can see it does try and snap to triangles and um, quads. Let's see, um, control will add and subtract edges. So control and click added adds extra edges. Control and shift deletes those extra edges. So if I come in and say, nope, I don't want that middle edge, I can delete it. And then I can also hold down control and just click and bring it back. So that's also a good way of kind of relaxing and creating new edge loops. So each of these is an edge loop and it will deform well. If you want to see all of the keyboard and mouse shortcuts for quad draw, they are down here under your modeling toolkit. So if you want to delete specific dots rather than undoing, you can delete them with control shift and left mouse button. Um, and you can just see all of these different options. I don't use a lot of them. I think tab and shift um, are the main ones and then just dragging and dropping. Just to quickly summarize, um, when you're creating your mesh for Maya and you bring your model into Maya, you wanna make it a live surface and um, start the quad draw tool. Um, and then here are the basic quad draw commands that I use the most. Um, you can take a screenshot of these so you have them and then you can move on to the next video. All right, thanks.